Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I'm going to talk about a huge myth out there that says that your brain only can run on glucose. That's a myth. That is not true. If that was true, how do you explain the people that cut out glucose from the diet and they do fine after weeks and weeks and weeks? You only have 72 hours to run your body, um, to run on sugar before it gets tapped out because glycogen, which is stored sugar in your muscle and your liver, it only has like a 72 hour window and then it's depleted unless you put it back in. So what's happening with that? How do you explain that? Well, it's because your body converts over to another fuel source when you deplete the glucose, okay, or sugar. And it actually runs on something called ketones. Now, what is a ketone? A ketone is a fuel source or a fuel a byproduct of, of consuming more fat or even protein but you have to keep the sugars out of the diet to do that and keep your carbohydrates kind of low. And then your body is then switching over to burning fat, okay? Burning fat is a, actually a healthier thing than burning sugar for the brain especially. There's been a lot of studies and I'm gonna put some of them below that you can see the relationship between burning your, um, going into uh, ketosis, which is fat burning, and, ha and actually improving dementia or even Alzheimer's, yeah. Because what happens when your body runs on sugar and you become more of a diabetic or a pre-diabetic called insulin resistance, you can actually develop uh, something called beta amyloids. What does that mean? Those are something, a plaque that accumulates in Alzheimer's patients and even in dementia. It's kind of a, a placking. And there's a huge link between that plaque and insulin. So I believe, and this is my opinion, that Alzheimer's and dementia is insulin related it's connected, it's not just associated, it's probably cause and effect. It's called diabetes type three. That would explain a lot of the diabetics that start having dementia or pre-diabetics that have dementia, memory loss. So what I'm telling you is that when you run your body on ketones, it's a much more efficient fuel source for your brain, uh, better energy for the brain, uh, less highs and lows with blood sugars, which is kind of a dirty fuel. Um, so when you run your body on sugar, you actually get low blood sugar and you feel kind of irritable and then you get high blood sugar and you get tired. You have to take a nap. But when you're running your body's on, body on ketones, you become um, a lot uh, more energetic. Now, the difference between ketosis and ketoacidosis are two completely different things. Ketoacidosis is a, is a pathology. It's a disease state from diabetes because of diabetes, you lose control with insulin and then you get this pH problem. You become very, very acidic and you have a lot of side effects. That is very different than just regular ketosis, doing it on your own without diabetes. Okay. Because when you eliminate the carbohydrate, your body switches over. Actually the cells build new machines to switch over to burn ketones instead of glucose. That's a healthy state. That is not the same as ketoacidosis. So you have to differentiate those two. Also, people say, well, oh, you're going to get bad breath. You're going to get um, constipation, kidney stones. Not if you're consuming enough vegetable, okay? So we're not just talking about eating all this fat and protein. We're talking about some fat, some protein, no carbs, or you could, vegetable carbs. We want a lot of vegetables, like seven to 10 cups of vegetable. That provides all the potassium. That provides all the magnesium and the minerals to flush out the fat. That keeps you clean. That prevents kidney stones. It helps constipation. So that is, like, to my, from my viewpoint, one of the best diets that you can do. So, um, and then people say, well, you, well, in the medical literature, it only says that you can burn, um, glucose is the only thing the brain runs on. Well, how do you explain this thing called gl gl uh, gluconeogenesis? Okay, gluco meaning glucose, neo which means new, genesis which means making. So your body has the capacity in the liver to make new sugars out of protein and out of fat. Okay, so in your mind you don't have to just think I have to eat, you know, to get my brain having glucose. I don't just have to eat sugar. You can actually have protein and or fat to get your glucose in your brain. So your, your brain can run on glucose and it can also run on glucose from fat and protein and ketones. So it has a lot of variability just during the survival development um, over time, your, your brain has the ability to switch over. So here's the thing, people also are afraid, well, if I'm eating all this fat, I'm gonna get high cholesterol and blah, blah, blah. 
See, fat is only bad if you add sugar to it. Protein is only bad if you add sugar to it. That's when you start having problems. Did you realize that your body makes 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day? Yeah, look it up. That's like four sticks of butter or 300 strips of bacon or 14 eggs. What happens when you eat more cholesterol foods, your body just makes less. If you eat less cholesterol foods, your body makes more. And all the sugar that people eat convert over into cholesterol. That's really what causes the problem, okay? So here's what I recommend. Don't, don't sweat this whole idea that your brain only needs glucose. It could run in other fuel sources. And check out the links below, and I will see you in the next video.